Hey guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on what I've been doing, what I've been up to, and where I'm going moving forward with the shelter in place update in effect now in Ohio, starting tonight at midnight. Um, so over the last month, I've been working on a game for a contest. It's called a Game Jam. They host it over on itch.io. And um, basically, you have a month or however long they give you to make a game within the requirements stipulated in the page. Well, I just finished that today, uploaded it, and the contest is over. But I want you guys to check it out. So if you have time, if you got a computer that can run it, I'll leave a link down in the description that you can, uh, and practically anything can run it, can run it actually. I'll leave a link down, to the, down in the description for you to go check it out. And if you do enjoy it, please consider, um, if you got an itch.io account, or if you create one, consider voting for it and um, also just consider possibly donating. You don't have to, it's not a requirement, but every dollar that I ever get will go towards emergency expenses during this time because frankly, we could all use some extra help and I'm definitely in need of extra help. But beyond that, I just want to let you know what's going on with me. So beyond the, beyond the contest, I've also been losing weight consistently, but I have stalled since I've been stuck inside recently because of issues. So I'm back up to the 240s. I did get briefly into the 230s. So technically I have lost about 65 pounds um, out of the previous 70 pounds that I hit. Um, unfortunately, that is going to possibly be a stall point for a while as I'm stuck inside and not able to go to the gym. But I will do what I can to decrease my caloric intake, and then also increase whatever burn I can get. Um, beyond that, I'm also hoping to get back to streaming. However, I was just on a live stream earlier today here on YouTube, and unfortunately, see, it seems like the servers are struggling since YouTube probably has nothing more than a skeleton crew working the desks at the um, server offices and stuff. So. Right now, we don't really know what's going what's going to happen with the stream, but I will still attempt it just for you guys. Beyond that, I want to continue to reiterate the fact that I will be creating content for you regularly as I can, as I'm able, um, with being busy trying to help my church get telecom um, services up for the parishioners so that we can continue to connect with the body and other things. It's really just been a matter of um, prioritizing church work, my work, and then my personal life. And between the three of them, my personal life and church work have been definitely the um, two biggest <laughs> time hogs recently. So I do apologize for not uploading as re regularly as I have been previously. I do, I do want to fix that. And since I am going to be stuck inside, it will be easier to manage that hopefully moving forward. Again, I also want to reiterate that during this time, if you can help other people, please do. It is important that during this time that we do not cut ourselves off completely from the people that we care about, but rather that we continue to build each other up in any way possible, whether it's help monetarily or just giving someone a listening ear through a phone call or through a FaceTime or through a Google Hangout or whatever else it is. If you can manage to help someone else in some way or, or form, please do. In that way, I am also going to put the link down in the description for my Discord server. Now, I have changed things a bit. When you first go in, you will have to verify that you are actually a person and that you are actually going to follow the rules of the server. Then you will be allowed to see all the rest of the stuff in the server. Until then, though, it's going to basically just be... Um, the welcome page and that requirements section. It's not anything against any new people. It's just that I'm trying to keep the server civil, especially as it grows. We are also trying our best to make sure that people are being kind and courteous and not being um, detrimental to the quality of the um, community. So in that way, I hope that the moderators and the staff members and everyone else will be cooperating with each other and making this a positive experience and not a negative pile-on for whoever ends up disagreeing with the 
larger majority of the group or whatever. I don't want this to be a server where we kick people out just because we disagree with them. I want this to be a server where we can help and support one another in this time of crisis that we're in. That being said, I do want to reiterate something I said earlier in the week. Do not panic. Do not panic and do not treat other people differently just because you think they might have the virus, okay? Asian people are not the only people carrying the virus. And if you see someone who is Asian and you say, oh no, they have the coronavirus, I, I got to stay away from them. You know what? That makes you even unintentionally a racist. And I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is because I've seen so many people treating Asian people differently just because the virus started or at least was visibly started in China. I'm sorry, but you're wrong if you think that that's something that's proper to do. Sorry. Beyond that, I just want to continue to lift you guys up. I still want to encourage you to be the best version of you you can be. Learn something new during this time while you're away from work or away from school. When you have free time, do that. Just enjoy your time off, but also be productive with it. Start a YouTube channel, start a TikTok account, start game development. There are loads of different things you can do. Just start something today and maybe maybe come out of this with a better understanding of you and who you want to be. That's what I'm doing, and that's what I hope you do as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being there for me and allowing me to be there for you. Take care of yourselves. I love you very much. And until next time, thanks for watching here on The Wandering Wind. I love you very much. Have a great day.